can, I mean, come on, this must be bollocks, surely. I mean, what can this have to do with something as fine and refined as the classical art, liberal arts, as the trivium of the play? Because this Place is of the original academy. No, no, no. It must. It must be something deeper. It must be something more difficult. It must be something not quite as funny as this. <laughs> but it is. That's exactly what it is. Logic is 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 also something that we all know and use every day. Um, of course, you can go into details and you can start analyzing the the, the logical fallacies. Ah, and, 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 and for that we have Jan Irving. Yes, and he's uh, pretty good at it. And the pop up fallacies are fucking funny. I, I, I want more of those. They are just <laughs> epic. Um, and the point is that, that when it comes to logic, this is really just about rules of um, putting things and claims together. In a way that convinces whoever you're arguing with? <laughs> well, let, let, let me give you again one of the popular references, right? Um, Back in the day when I was sitting with my early computers and was playing, right, right, when when that thing broke, it came up with a big red thingy where it said syntax error, and then it, said, and then it said guru meditation. <laughs> kind of weird, but but the point is that what, that this is about what syntax is. This is about uh, what it means to to have a syntactical error. Uh, again, mm -hmm. then we could deconstruct and uh, in, in taxes and moving and, and, and touching and anyways, mm -hmm. point, point really is that when you are constructing meaning, when you're putting meaning together, then you want some, um, you have something you want to communicate or um, induce, well, depends on how you... All right, so I mean... Before we go on, I mean, let, let, let me then ask you this. I mean, let, let me riddle you this. Uh, for some reason, what you just said made me think of my old iPhone. And as you know, it was a pretty old iPhone. I mean, I got it from a friend, bought it in Ireland of all places, before they were even sold in Denmark, because he, he as a tech freak, one of the newest of the newest. And when he discarded it, I inherited it with a cracked windshield and all. It still worked perfectly, though. There was just this one, this one odd thing. Uh, every so often, there'll be a pop up window that would just blip up on the screen and they did one button on it and you, you couldn't do anything until you pushed it and, and what it said was uh, directly translated no regrets cancel and the only button you could put what push was cancel and you couldn't fucking get your iPhone to work do anything unless you canceled your no regrets and I'm just wondering who the hell programmed that well um, what, what, what's the term um, Dukes imagine eight, magic eight balls uh, weird parts of programming that's hidden and any anyways to get back on uh, on the logic right this is about how you construct a uh, a line of reasoning and uh, how you use what's called syllogisms um which is basically it's it's it's, it's basically about um a then b but uh, and then c but to not get into too much about uh, the, the details of logic, the point is that, that you see this in, in, in everyday life in things like programming and in math. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people that have been taught uh, higher level or at least uh, medium level math that's been sitting there working with uh, logical operators and logical gates. Um, and many people on online, of course, will have experience from programming where you have um, all the logical expressions when you have to, to create a mathematical uh, set of rules. So, so these things are in everyday life. It, it's, 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 it's also things like um, traffic, right? Go or no go, one way or not one way. Uh, when, when, you are, when you're playing with things like this, it's, it's, it's all about rules and whether or not you can do it. <laughs> Exactly. You learn to choose which rules. Let me give break. you two of my favorites, right? One is my favorite expression in casual conversation. Ooh, I should be able to guess that one, but go ahead. <laughs> I always lie. Ha 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 ha. That's a classic, right? It is, it is. I mean, there is actually a correct answer to it. And and the, the point is that, that you cannot state that because if you were stating that then that would be a lie and blah 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 anyway the logic is 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 there and and everyone can see the paradox uh and again um 
I mean, you, 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 could you advert that and maybe say this paradox isn't one? Well, th this is a paradox because you can't say that. It's a state. It's a false yeah. statement. Um, the 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 point is that that this is an example that everyone can uh, grasp in, initially. Um, the second one is uh, a little bit more tricky. It's based on um, on the classical two door thing, where one of them always tells the truth and the other one always lies. And then you have to would this guy say that this door leads to certain death? Well, anyways. Uh, then you circumvent it by asking one guy or the other, then you know that you get it negated. But this one is, is, is kind of funny because it's my favorite pickup line. If I asked you for sex, would your answer to that question be the same as to this? <laughs>